Once I'd finished my camper van conversion, my next decision was to change the tyres. The tyres that had come with the van were generic 23565s, and I'd always planned to swap them for BF Goodrich All Terrains, having had an excellent experience with them on my old 110 Defender. For those of you who saw the now archived video of my first impressions of the All Terrains after 20 miles, you might remember that I had gone to great lengths to check as much as possible before buying the 245-7516s. This included checking the manual, the Aponio tyre checker, the BF Goodrich website, other van lifers experiences, Google searches, just about everything. I knew from the Aponio tyre comparison site that the BF Goodrich 245 16s were about 8% bigger in diameter than the standard Mercedes Sprinter 235 65 16s. However, I decided to go ahead and buy a set and got a good deal from Quickfit in Auburn to have them supplied and fitted. My first impressions were that the ride quality was a huge improvement and the tyres completely ignored all the potholes up here in Scotland. The van felt more stable and it was like riding with air suspension by comparison. I invested in a Wheel I Am's rear door spare tyre carrier and I assumed I was set to go for a fair old while. The only fly in the ointment was a clicking of the front tyres as they flicked against a plastic protector at full lock, but only when the steering wheel pump was starting to complain. This clicking stopped once the brand new edge of the tyre moulding had been worn down a bit after just over 1,000 miles on the driver's side and after about 1,400 miles on the passenger side, which I put down to the driver's side being heavier with the two AGM leisure batteries placed behind the driver's seat. The first couple of thousand miles were pretty much all done on the motorway as a family illness meant I had to keep driving down to Devon from Scotland. Once the crisis was over, I turned the nose of the van north and headed for the hills for a couple of adventures, at which point the impact of the increased tyre size became much more noticeable. I'd been aware of a drop in acceleration speed with the motorway driving, but back on the small highland roads, the sprints felt sluggish and not as nippy as it had previously. More concerning was the need to always be in a lower gear than usual, even for the most modest hills. This in turn gave the impression that the engine was working harder than it needed and diesel miles per gallon was definitely down by about 5 mpg. The speedometer was equal to the GPS speed at around 50 miles an hour. After getting totally frustrated by having to climb hills in second gear and at the speeds that go with it, where previously the van had cruised up in third or even fourth, and along with the engine revving far higher than I felt happy with, I decided the 24575 tyres were wrong for the type of driving I was going to be doing, but what to choose instead. After the usual research, all the decisions and indecisions, I decided to go back to the standard size of tyre, and given that it rains, snows, hails or just drizzles for 75% of the time here in Scotland, I went for the Michelin Aguiles Cross Climate Van Tyres as the best compromise. And I've been delighted with the result. The Sprinter is back to being its original nippy and agile self. The miles per gallon is back up to where it used to be. And most importantly, the gearing is spot on and the engine isn't being constantly overworked on the hills. That said, I have to say that if I lived somewhere flatter and less demanding in terms of hills, I would probably have stayed with the all terrains, if only for the ride quality. The Michelin tyres are a harder ride and a bit louder than the all-terrains, but they grip just as well and feel great in the wet. The only other downside is that they are directional tyres, so I had to assume that the passenger side was a greater risk for tyre damage when buying the spare. We shall see. Anyway, it's all good. <laughs>